Hi guys, welcome back. It's Crystal from Emerson Aurora Design, and today we're going to let Little Miss Aurora design a glittered tumbler. Hi, I'm Aurora. I'm going to make a cup, a trans glitter cup making. Glitter painting cup. With Mickey Mouse and, and Elsa and Anna hugging together. Do Mickey. And so we got black and yellow and we got red and what is this called? What? Cool. For his nose and cheeks. Oh we got we've got this gold for Pluto. Let's get started. Okay, I'm gonna get this. <laughs> This catches the glitter. She's such a silly girl. Anyway, here we are. I'm going to go ahead and peel the um, the pre-cut sticker paper backing, whatever you want to call it, up from the uh, tumbler design for her, and I'm going to let her apply the glitter. Um, I'm just kind of giving her mild uh, prompts as to what to do and how to do it. And she really loves doing these projects with me. She She's just so much fun to design a tumbler with. And I really enjoy this time I have with her. This image was cut from my Cat Scratch double-sided adhesive tape that I have used in other Tumblr videos. I will link those in the description box below or at the end of the video. But here I am just showing her what to do and how to actually place the glitter down by using her finger to rub that glitter down. I like to use fine or ultra-fine glitters. It tends to work better for this type of design. Um, using chunkier glitters, you may not get a full coverage. As you can see, she is super excited. <laughs> and she's got her outline of her Mickey hugging Pluto, which she loves. I let her choose the coloring book images um, online that I was putting on her Tumblr because this is going to be her Tumblr. And she chose Mickey hugging Pluto and then an image of Anna and Elsa from Frozen. And I apologize for my camera. I'm having some issues with my recording camera. Um, it likes to focus in and out, so if you see that, that's what that's doing. She chose which colors of glitter she wanted in different areas for the actual um, image, and I think she did a really good job. She's She's got an artistic... Uh, an artistic heart for sure. She's my little artsy girl. She is six years old and so she does need a little bit of help peeling up those stickers so that we know which um, part of the design to do the different glitters. This is a fun little project to do with your kiddos um, that is epoxy free. I do not let her do anything with the epoxy at all. She's just doing the glittering portion of her tumbler. Her favorite thing to do is come down with her Mimi, which is me, <laughs> I'm Mimi, um, come down into my studio and work on art projects together. And she's showing me where she wants the color. She's pointing out here. If you're going to try this, um, I would suggest finding a coloring book image online and just cutting it with your um, vinyl cutter. I have a Cricut, that's what I use. I just made a square in my Cricut design space of the dimensions of my tumbler, which I believe my 20 ounce tumbler is a 9.25 by 8.1. Pretty sure that's the dimensions for this. Since this is not a repeating pattern or seamless pattern, it's just two images, one on one side, one on the other. It didn't make too much of a difference, but I did want the um, 
the picture itself to fit on the tumbler, obviously. So I just sized these in that square and then cut it out with my cutter on the washi tape setting. I'm not sure what the settings would be for a silhouette because I don't have a silhouette, but that's what I use for my Cricut and it works really well. And you put the blue side down. The white side is the side that you cut in your Cricut cutter if you're using the cat scratch um, tape. I keep wanting to say cat scratch fever. <laughs> This does get a little messy, but messy with glitter is always a fun thing for me. <laughs> Just keep the broom handy. Now I'm going to do my Elsa and Anna. We're using this color for, for Elsa's hair. We're using this, these two colors for Elsa's dress. This color um, for Anna's um, a shawl, and this color for Anna's shawl, and this color for Anna's hair. Let's get started. So for the Anna and Elsa design, um, it is a little bit more intricate than the Mickey one. So I just, I kind of fast forward through some of this because you don't want to watch me pick off <laughs> the backing um, from this the whole video. Anyway, I'm going to peel this up. So we, I always do the background first. I try to outline in a darker color so that you have a nice image to color in. Essentially, I'm glitter, coloring with glitter. Um, you want to start with your light or darkest colors first and then move, you know, through the color spectrum to your lightest colors last because you don't want to contaminate your light colors with a dark color. So I always start with my outline like we're doing here so we can have a good, um, a good guide to where to put the other colors. Only peel up your outline and then rub your, your um, glitters in so you can see your image. And I'm just directing her not to spread that glitter into her other picture so that we don't contaminate Mickey and Pluto. And there's Anna and Elsa. That's the image she wants and it's just easier to see it One side note, since I did, I did um, make the square of the image overall the size of my tumbler, I leave that, I don't peel the out, outer edges. If you can see, this looks like it's bigger than what the tumbler is going to be. That is important because you don't want that glitter to stick to the edges, the outer edge rim of the square. I don't know if I'm making any sense, you guys. Um, Essentially, we are going to peel that off at the end because I don't want the black to kind of stick on that and create a, um, a shadow. I don't know if I'm, this is making any sense. I apologize, but hopefully you'll be able to tell as we go along. So here she's doing Anna, Anna's hair. I'm just directing her to use one little finger to rub that glitter in so that we're not making a giant mess with our glitter. And she is doing such a good job. She's having the time of her life, as you can see, with that big grin on her face. Fine glitters work so well on these. Um, they are so much fun. And you can really, the sky's the limit with what you can do with this double-sided tape. I love it so much. It is so much fun. It is therapeutic. <laughs> and it's messy and wonderful. And I just love it. I hope you guys give this a try because it is fun to do with your kids or, you know, someone that maybe doesn't want to work with epoxy and just kind of let their creativity flow. Like I said, she chose all the colors. I just, the only thing I told her was to choose glitters that were very fine cut. She is very uh, schooled in the knowledge of glitter. <laughs> Her favorite thing to do is mix all the glitters together in that tray that I have there and put glue on paper towel rolls and just make a mess. Um, usually she's doing it when I'm not paying attention and I look over and there's glitter everywhere as she's got a big grin on her face and says, look what I made, Mimi. <laughs> and I'm just speeding this up. To watch her process, as you can see, Anna's shawl is kind of more intricate than anything else. 
And she's doing such a good job. Once you get to your lighter colors, it's perfectly fine to kind of smear those everywhere. They won't contaminate the dark colors. The dark colors will contaminate your light colors though. So Anna's hair or Elsa's hair is going to be last because her hair is almost white. <laughs> Reminding her to use just two fingers. And there's Elsa's hair. All right, so this is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna peel this whole square off, and then you take this. I'll do the first one, and you'll sh and I'll show you the rest. Okay? Okay. So this is gonna have to go all around here. So I'm peeling off the background here to show her how we're going to lay the glitter down. Or basically, I let her choose a few different colors, and I'm gonna essentially ombre that glitter on there and just kind of smear it all around on there. Um, so I'm just taking my time to peel off that background and this is what where I'm explain I explained that you want to keep the excess cat scratch tape around your actual cut image that goes on your tumbler so that the glitter will be seamless when you put it on your tumbler. And you could see little Aurora there with ants in her pants in the background. She just can't wait to get her hands back on that glitter again. <laughs> now, I'll do the first one. I'll show you. So which one do you want first? Actually, no. I want the rose. Rose gold. Okay. Put that up there, please. So you're just going to take this and you're going to do lines. So you're going to... Kind of do this. Okay, now the next one you're going to do right here. Yeah, hold it like this. And then shake it. Okay, do it down a little more. Make a bigger space. Come down a little more. Down this way a little more. Like this. Okay, that's good. Now the next one. She cracks me up that she imitated my uh, sound effects. <laughs> Woo! So <laughs> I'm just trying to contain her enthusiasm because she will dump that glitter everywhere and we'll have a huge <laughs> mess. There she is. I'm just going to let her rip. <laughs> As we were doing this, I thought, oh, yeah, I forgot about Elsa's hair being white. But the <laughs> chip brush saved us. I did manage to brush off as much of that excess glitter as I could. So I'm going to cut my image, the um, excess cat scratch tape close to the image so that I don't have any funky lines going on. This is clear double-sided adhesive. That's the way it comes in. I'm going to, I think I leave, I guess, um, one side on the horizontal, um, a little bit extra of the cat scratch. But then I end up cutting it off, I believe. This will match up seamlessly, as you can see here. So I decide to cut those two sides off completely. This has been trial and error for me. I've been trying to perfect my technique. <laughs> but like I said, it is pretty simple if you get your measurements right for your tumbler. I'm going to do my best to match this up and get it nice and straight. I'm just peeling back one side of the vinyl. I guess it's like vinyl, I guess, um, just like you would a vinyl wrap. Making sure my measurements are good. And as you peel the backing off, just kind of mush it down with your fingers and try to get as many bubbles out as you can because you don't really want bubbles. But if you notice any bubbles in it, you can take a sharp X-Acto knife or razor tool and just poke those and then work that air bubbles out. 
once I have it on my tumbler, I do go ahead and spray seal this with my Rust-Oleum Matte Clear spray. I spray it about two times, let it dry. This will go on my turner, and I do apply about two layers of epoxy. I put her name on it, and then two more layers of epoxy. I'll show you the end result here soon, but the main point of this video is to show you that you can do this glittering technique with your kiddos, and if you want to watch more in-depth videos of me epoxying and all that, I will link some videos for you. She did a great job, didn't she? So cute. I do add glitter to the bottom of the cup because it just needed some glitter because I'm all about glitter. But you don't have to, you can leave it as is. And here we are a little while later and she's proudly displaying her new tumbler she helped make. I put Aurora Rose on there for her in pretty holographic vinyl and she loves her new tumbler. I hope you guys enjoyed this video with a little bit of uh, sweetness of my little Miss Aurora helping me with this tumbler. And I hope you give this a try because this is a fun little project for kids to do on a rainy day. Let them choose a little coloring book design and make a cup for themselves. How, do you, how much do you love that gap tooth smile? Thank you so much for watching my video. If you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, leave a comment or question below and I'll get back with you. Here's a close-up of the finished product. I think it turned out really nice. And those glitters are so sweet that the ones that she picked out, she did a good job. And there's her name, Miss Aurora Rose. And the glitter bottom. Happy crafting, everyone. I hope you have a beautiful, beautiful day. Till next time.